Hello everyone, welcome back. In previous lecture, we just created simple HTML page, right? So why we have created HTML page? Because we are going to create web application development with the by using Spring Boot framework. Okay, so creating web application is not that much easy. Why? Because if you want to create the spring web application spring boot web application then you have to create a view layer nothing but a jsp and uh, you have to follow the mvc architecture and you have to uh, if you want to connect with database whether you have to use js uh, jdbc or jpa on database layer you have to use whether mysql or oracle or any some other database so these many things are involved right so let me show you one by one so first to create web application to create web application you should have knowledge on html and css cascading style sheets right so next uh, second one you should have knowledge on mvc model and view controller and uh, third one so if you want to connect with the database you should use either jdbc or jpa or hibernate right jdbc jp and hibernate right so next what you have to use you have to use database whether it is mysql or oracle or any other database so these many things are involved in to create web application development so that is the reason so yesterday i have created simple basic html to make you understand so why we are why we are using html page and why we are using html content because browser can understand only html content nothing but hypertext markup language right so that is the reason browser can understand only hypertext markup language nothing but html that is the purpose we should have knowledge on html so i just created a simple uh, table and which is having to, uh, first name last name and input field like first name and last name and button so you can see this is the simple example we have created so so far well and good so now after that we should have knowledge on what i said so second step what we have to do we should have knowledge on mvc so when we create a restful apis so that time uh, what we are doing in rest api so same architecture we are following but here we uh, when we send the request request will go to the dispatch servlet and dispatch servlet will go to the controller so controller will talk to a service and service to repository layer and repository layer we'll talk to database right so when it is uh, uh, when you discuss with response so response will come as json in restful architecture right but in web application response will come as a view layer nothing but view page web page so whether it is jsp example jsp so let me re remaining all the rest of the all the execution flow will be same only difference is we have to return back instead of json we have to return web page nothing but jsp so let me explain you mvc architecture so in this mvc architecture if you see whenever you send request from the browser you can see here when request from the browser so request will go to the web server web server nothing but so currently we are using tomcat server embedded tomcat server which is having spring uh, which will already embedded in spring boot right 
so request will go to the from browser to web server then web server will identify the respective url with the help of dispatcher servlet and then so request will go dispatch servlet after that it will go to the controller so controller what it will do it will process your request and then uh, request nothing but whatever data you send that request will be mapped to your modal object and then if you are written database logic then it will connect with uh, database and then after that it will send response back to the controller and then controller to view so view nothing but your web page so the, what uh, java server page so that web page will come as a your uh, uh, web page will res response will come back to your browser right so this is this is the mvc architecture we have to follow in web application development so during this web application development we have to create controller and model and view layer so controller uh, we have to specify with at the rate controller annotation and model we just need to create simple java class which is having your properties and setters and getter methods and view layer it it will have html content and we have to create as a jsp page java server page so now let's create one simple web application by using spring boot application so how we can create so we have to go to spring initializer right start dot spring dot io so from here so i will go with maven and latest version i will go with latest version uh, 3.2.0 spring boot version will be 3.2.0 and project package will be i will go with uh, com dot web so we are going to create web application i will just give com dot web and pro pro uh, project name I will give it as a spring web application that's it so now we need to add dependencies so let me add the dependencies so to create web application first we need to add web module spring web module so by using spring web module we can create web application as well as restful apis why because so it will come up with a default embedded tomcat server right so we need spring web dependency so let me add this dependency and then i will add spring dev tools so spring dev tools uh, uh, it will help us to uh, without uh, restarting the server whatever changes we made into our application those changes will reflect into tomcat server by default so we no need to restart the server so for that purpose we need to use spring dev tools let me add spring dev tools as well so now that's it these two dependencies are enough now we can generate the project click on generate button and project is downloaded successfully just uh, copy this zip file so i copied the zip file right so i will put it in any specific folder so let me put it in specific folder and uh, i will extract this project extract here so now our project is ready to import in eclipse so go to your eclipse and there is a option called import projects and type maven and select existing maven project because we have selected maven build right during the project creation so now select it and then copy that path or browse that path so let me copy the path of that uh, application root path you have to copy or you can browse as well so wherever you can go directly you can go and select that path so now i will just copy that path and 
click enter so now just we need to click on finish button so now our application is ready now so if uh, very first time what will happen if is there any dependencies are not available so it will download all the dependencies into your local maven repository so this is the project structure you already aware of it right so, in, so the src folder all the java classes will write here and the resources so here we have default application.properties file so here we will add our application related configurations and uh, there is a pom.xml so we have added dependencies right so all the dependencies related to our spring boot application those dependencies will be available in pom.xml you can see three web module is added and spring dev tools so we have added two dependencies right so along with that by default starter test dependency also will be added this is uh, used for to writing the JUnit unit test cases or mojito test cases this i will explain you later uh, this will come by default okay so now so do when you check your project structure in spring boot application we have we have main three files what are those the very first file is will be your spring boot main application so your spring boot web application dot java this is first oh, uh, one file so the, uh, our project web application project execution will starts from this class so what is the second second file second file will be our application dot properties so this file will have all the application configuration if you want to connect with database database properties you have to specify here so if you want to change your port number server port number you have to specify the property here so all the application related configurations will be available in application dot properties so next other one so palm dot xml so palm dot xml it will have all your spring boot related dependencies so currently we are working with spring web application so to work with spring web application we need spring web module and uh, dev tool dev tools is optional actually so this is why, why we are added so it will use of useful for for few configurations as well as if you modify any changes in your class so you no need to restart the server so that is the reason we just added dev tools as well this is optional if you need you can add otherwise you no need to add just a web module is enough to create simple web application so now these are all three files you need to understand in spring boot application okay so now uh, here you can see in resources folder resources folder we have to add our view pages view pages <coughs> nothing but our web pages so now let's write so during our uh, mvc architecture we have to create controller right so let me create the controller first so right click on your root package of spring boot application and create package name called controller controller so inside the controller package then i will create our controller class what is the class name i will give i will give uh, just i will give spring uh, spring controller spring web controller or just i will write web controller as of now web controller that's it so this is a simple java class how we can make this class as a controller so uh, so far we have used uh, rest uh, restful apis right in restful api uh, we have used at the rate rest controller annotation but here we are going to work with view layer it's nothing but web application and we have to access web pages for that uh, we have to specify instead of rest controller we have to use at the rate controller annotation so the moment you declare at the rate controller annotation so whenever you send request to your web controller so it will always expect to uh, send response back as a view layer view nothing but jsp 
or your presentation layer. So now let me write one simple function to return uh, to return uh, basic HTML. So let me write the small function public string and uh, return HTML or web page. Simple write one web page we have to return. So as of now we haven't created any web page right. So for the time being I will return string string nothing but here I will return HTML content. So later I will write for the time being uh, let's write uh, uh, web application. It will return creating web application or our first web application. So we need to create the API right. So this should be get mapping. So get request. So get mapping and then here we have to give URL. So I will give web page. Web page is the URL. So now let's see. Let me start the server. What will happen? You have to check now. How we can start the server? Just uh, right click on your uh, Spring Boot application dot Java. So there, right click and run as Java application. You can see server started successfully. So server is server is running on po which port? Port number 8080. So how we can access this URL? The uh, the uh, web the URL which we have created web page right? So how we can access? So with the help of HTTP protocol, HTTP colon slash slash. So, so currently the server is available in local machine. That's the reason URL will be localhost colon port number is 8080 slash to access our web page what is the url web page i have given right so just uh, define that web page that's it so by using this url we can access our web application right so now go to your browser and request for that url so we got uh, exception why because white label error page what it is saying the application has no explicit mapping so for not found the requested resource not available why because you can see here no resource found exception no static resource our first web application so web application always expects view layer so so far we haven't created any web pages right so that is the reason it is throwing exception you can see so or what you can do let me deep <coughs> uh, let me debug this application okay how we can debug this application what is the exact error so go to your application dot properties and enable logging logging debug logs okay l o g g logging dot level dot let's debug org dot spring framework is equal debug logging dot level dot org dot spring framework now i just saved this file so server is restarted successfully you can see lot more logs you can see number of logs so let me clear the console and let me send the request again If you check the console, you can see nothing is there. There is no URL is provided. You can see what it is saying. So you see get request is being called. So web page, the URL is being called and it is saying selected text or HTML. So anything web page in the sense you have to return HTML page. So HTML content it is expecting, right? So view, view name will be our first web application. You can see. So Spring Boot is trying to, so whatever 
in this controller web controller we have written our first web application right so if you declare at the rate controller annotation so whenever you send a request it will always look for web page so we haven't created any web page nothing but jsp or html nothing we haven't created anything so what it is trying to uh, do in background it will treat it as a web page name our first web application name treat it as web page name so it is looking for this web page now you can see the console see our first web application view name is our first web application so the moment you declare at the rate controller annotation spring boot always will expect to return web page so because of that when i returning some data so it is trying to find the name uh, the web page name our first web application dot jsp or html it is looking for that so that is the purpose since we haven't created any web page it is looking for this page but that page is not available in our server because we haven't created it right we haven't created it so that is the reason it is throwing exception no resource found exception which what resource uh, what resource our first web application resource is not available in server we haven't created view name view view page right so that is the reason it is giving exception so for the time being what i will do so that is the reason you can see 404 error code also complete not found 404 nothing but not found so for the time being what i will do i will add at the rate response body annotation if you add is it rate response body annotation what it will do so it will return the text which we have written same as it is whatever we are returning same text will be being redirect to the browser so it will not look for the web page why because i have given at the rate response body so response body in the sense whatever we are returning same thing will be written to your web browser so our first web application will be displayed to our web browser so spring boot application will not look for web page why because i have declared here response body response body nothing but as it is whatever content which we have declared here same content will be uh, being displayed in your web browser so let's send request again see our first web application is displayed but this is not a web page it will it will it is a it will treat it as a static static page so you can declare it as html also see no if you put anything html if you put it will display as it is see? html testing purpose i have declared our html we'll see whether it will return html or not so see see it is returning our first web application as it is so now let me give some uh, font color color is equal to, i will give red color okay so within the string character we can give red let's see what will happen now request the page see our first web application coming as red color so what is happening so whatever html content which we are returning so it is re redirecting back to our web page so whatever we have written here it is returning as it is so now uh, yesterday what we have created one simple html right this html if you want to return this html we can directly write it here all the html code we can write it here and we can display so that we will discuss in next lecture guys okay we'll catch you in next lecture who are all watching newly you can subscribe the channel and you can learn all the concepts spring boot angular js and restful web services and microservices 
and also writing unit test cases and spring security and rest all other concepts so how you can go just go to the browser and type youtube.com slash at the rate rasul hyphen shake slash playlist if you go to this youtube channel you can find java cafeteria so it is spell mistake youtube right there is a channel name called java cafeteria so here you can watch all the videos spring boot related so all the all the lectures you can learn here okay guys if you subscribe you will get all the latest videos and you can learn all the courses okay thank you so much guys i will catch you in next lecture